Today we're going to talk about angles formed by parallel lines and transversals. Okay, really today the math is not so hard really. It's just the terminology. Okay, in geometry students struggle more on the terminology and the vocabulary than they do on the math. Alright, so today we're going to talk about angles formed by parallel lines and transversals. What were some of the words we talked about yesterday or some of the vocab we talked about yesterday? We learned three, four new ones for sure yesterday. What was one of them? Corresponding angles. We learned corresponding angles. We also learned what, Caden? Alternate exterior angles. We also learned alternate interior angles. And there was one other one we learned. He says same side interior angles. Guess what? We're going to use those four concepts today and talk about those terms with respect to parallel lines. First one we're going to start talking about is corresponding angles. Gentlemen. Corresponding angles. According to the corresponding angles postulate, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the pairs of corresponding angles are congruent. What that means here is, if I have two parallel lines, notice, does everybody see the arrows? Arrows indicate parallel lines. If I have two parallel lines, the corresponding angles are congruent. So for instance, if I said angle 2 was 50 degrees, what would that make angle 4? 50 degrees. That is always 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 true if the lines are parallel okay if the lines are parallel corresponding angles are congruent now if angle two is 50 degrees how can i find angle one how to be able to find angle one they are supplementary because they form a line right so if two is 50 what's one going to be then cali 130 degrees all right Today's going to be a lot like sometimes like filling in pieces to a puzzle. Okay, you'll have some certain information that you got to start plugging it in based on these different um, postulates. So let's look at number one here. I'm going to label these angles just to make it easier. I have angle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Okay, so I have all the numbers here. I'm going to start off with angle one. Who can give me what angle one is and why? Who can give me what angle one is and why it is that measure? Colton, what are you thinking? Why is angle one 70 degrees? I agree. Yep. I got a linear pair right here. Supplementary angles. It's got to be 70 degrees. Great. What's another angle I know? What about angle two? I know angle two. Why do I know angle two, Chris? What's angle? First of all, what is angle two? Two is 110 degrees. Hey guys, let's look right here. What type of angles are those? <coughs> we learned it last week. What was it? Those are vertical angles. Vertical angles are always congruent. So that one has to be 110. How can I figure out angle three? What's angle three going to be? Why is that one 70 degrees? Hey, guess what? I got vertical angles again. Okay, look at that. I can start filling in these answers. What about angle four? How can I find angle four? Why is it 110? I could say corresponding angles here. I could say linear pair. They make a line here. Okay, there's a lot going on. What about angle five? What's angle five going to be, Clark? Why? Yeah, two and five are corresponding angles. Nice job. And what about angle six, Blake? Why, Blake? Vertical angles right there? Good work. Let's try number two. I need to first find angle seven. How would I find angle seven, Tyler? Angle seven? Yep. You do 180 minus 55. I would do 180 minus 55 because it's a linear pair. Great. So what's my answer, Tyler? 125. 125. Nice job. Okay. What about angle 8? How would I find angle 8, Spence? Why? Yep. Vertical angles. What about angle 9? How to find that, Chris? Why? Okay. Again, you see why we're figuring these out. It's all that terminology that helps me solve these. It's not like the math is hard. It's the terminology of the reasoning behind it. 
What about angle 10? How would I find angle 10, Caden? Uh, well, 1.5. And why? Because What are angles 7 and angle 10? Uh, Starts the C. Starts the C. Those are corresponding angles. <laughs> corresponding angles. What about angle 11, Heston? Why? I got corresponding angles. Parker, angle 12. Why? Huh? There's a couple of answers you can go with here. There are vertical angles, yeah. 11 and 12 are vertical. And lastly, 13, Claire. Why, Claire? Yep, I can say vertical there as well. Okay, try these two on your own. Okay, three and four here. I want to find the measure of angle one. And you want to find the measure of angle HJK. Take a couple seconds. Try those two on your own. All right, number three here. I want to find angle one. Ty, what do you think angle one is going to be? It would be 67 degrees. Why, Ty? Those are corresponding angles. Nice job. Number two, or four, sorry. Let's go with Simeon, number four. What's the angle going to be? You know what X is going to be? 142, right? Why? What type of angles are those, Simeon? Corresponding angles. Nice job. All right. Now it's going to get a little bit tougher here. Uh-oh. Let's look at this. I need find angle ABC. I don't know it, though. I'm just giving an expression. What do I know about these two angles, though? They're corresponding angles. So that means they're going to be what? Equal. Equal. So what do I do with my expressions? I set them equal. So 3x plus 23 equals 4x. Now I solve for my expression, solve for x. I subtract 3x, 23 equals x. Is that my answer? Yeah. No, because what's it actually asking me? It wants me to find ABC. Well, ABC is 4x. So I'm going to take 23, plug that in for x, 4 times 23, and I get an angle that is, is it 92 degrees? All right. Again, it's not the math that's going to be the tricky part. It's the terminology of helping us to make sure we set it up correctly. Okay, it's that terminology. Number six, same idea here. I have 5x, 3x plus 50. What type of angles are those? Those are corresponding. corresponding. So I'd say 5x equals 3x plus 50. Okay, now I need to solve it. So I subtract 3x. 2x equals 50. Divide by 2, I get x equals 25. I want to find angle MPQ. There's MPQ. So I take 25, plug it in. 3 times 25 plus 50, the angle comes out to be 125 degrees. Okay. That's the answer. Yep. Again, is the math the problem? No, it's the terminology. Okay. All right, moving on here. Next part here. We talked about corresponding angles so far. Guess what? Now we're going to talk about alternate interior and alternate exterior. For instance, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the following pairs of angles are also congruent. Alternate interior angles. Okay? Alternate interior angles are also going to be congruent. As well, alternate exterior angles are also going to be congruent. Okay? So everything we learned yesterday, corresponding, Alternate interior, alternate exterior. If they are parallel lines, I can state those angles are always going to be congruent. The only one that is not is, um, let's look here. It says angles 5 and 6. If you were to describe angles 5 and 6 from what we learned yesterday, what type of angles are those? They're not corresponding. They're not alternate interior. Alternate those are same side interior. What do you notice about same side interior angles? Because they're on the same side of the transversal? What do you notice about same side interior angles? Oh, that's what I was looking at. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I'm down here. Same side interior angles are what? They are supplementary. Same side interior angles are actually supplementary, which means they actually add up to 180. So that is the only difference. That's kind of the toughest one. Corresponding angles congruent, alternate interior congruent, alternate exterior angles congruent. Same side interior, supplementary. So let's look at number seven here. 
I want to find the measure of angle RST. Okay. So first off, what is the relationship between the angles I know there? What type of angles would those be? I agree, X is 138. But why do I know that? What type of angles are these? Those are alternate exterior angles. I'll show those AEA, alternate exterior angles. Number eight. I have A plus 28 and I have 2A. What type of angles are those? Are they, are they exteriors or interiors? Well, here, let's put it this way. This is in between the lines, right? So is the red in between the lines? Yep, so that would be alternate interior angles. Now what do I do with those alternate interior angles? I set them equal to each other. So I say A plus 28 equals 2A. Subtract A. And I get A equals 28. Is that my answer? Nope. Nope, wants me to find MNP. So there's MNP. So I take 28 and I plug it in. 28 plus 28, it comes out to be 56 degrees. Okay. Again, recognize that terminology. It'll help you out. All right. Try number nine on your own. Take a couple seconds, try number nine on your own, and then we're going to talk about number 10. Okay, try number nine on your own real fast, and then we'll do number 10 together. All right, let's go through number nine here. First off, what type of angles are these? Those are alternate interior angles, right? Alternate interior angles, okay. So I'd set them equal, so you'd say 5y equals 2y plus 78. I'd solve for y. When you solve for y, you get y equals, what was it? 26. I'd answer the question. I want wxz. There's wxz. I'd take 26, plug it in right there. 5 times 26 gets me, what was it, 130? Okay, now number 10. Trick question number 10. You will see this one again. Okay, trick question here. What type of angles are these now? Those are same side interior angles. Same side interior angles, are they congruent? No, the same side interior angles are actually what? Yeah, they add up equal to 180. So how would I solve that? Well, I would say 3n minus 47 plus n plus 7 equals 180. So I would add both those expressions and set them equal to 180 now. Now when I work it out, I'd say 3n plus n, I get 4n. Negative 47 plus 7 gets me negative 40 equals 180. Now it's a two-step equation. I'd add 40. So I have 4n equals 220. When I work it out, I get n equals what, 55? But again, is that my answer? No. Because I need to plug it in for A, B, C. So I take N, plug it in there. 3 times 55 gets me... What was it? 3 times 55, bud. 165. 165 minus 47 gets me, I believe the answer is, 118 degrees. Okay. Again, what's the difference here? Same side interior angles are 180. That is something you have to be able to recognize in the assignment today. Are the corresponding alternate interior and alternate exterior set equal? Same side interior angles, now I add up set equal to 180. That's easy. Here's your assignment.